And on this day in 1614, Pocahontas, the daughter of a Native American chieftain, married John Rolfe, an English tobacco planter, securing peace between colonists and the Powhatan tribe. In 1616, the couple visited England, where she died in March 1617, aged about 21. Many of us will know the name from the Disney film Pocahontas. Have you ever heard the wolf cry to the blue But here to tell us about the real Pocahontas is Joy Porter, Professor of Indigenous and Environmental History and the Principal Investigator of the Treated Spaces Research Group at the University of Hull. Good morning, Joy. Good morning. Um, Pocahontas is very familiar to, to, to anyone with children. Uh, how ac let's, get, let's get the film out of the way. How accurate is that film? There is no blue corn moon <laughs> in Indigenous uh, thinking, to my knowledge. And uh, the colours of the wind not entirely sure what that really means. <laughs> uh, but it, what's the heart of the story then? Is there, What's the, 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 the true kernel of the story of Pocahontas? I think it's about peace being struck through a diplomatic marriage. Uh, but let's not um, be confused. Pocahontas was kidnapped and forced really to assimilate into English mores and take on Christianity. So this was not the kind of disnified notion of, of marriage that, that the film puts forward. She's very much someone who's, who's representing her people. And Pocahontas wasn't her actual name. That was just her childish name that, uh, that she'd have been given when she was very young. Um, the names of great significance within many indigenous traditions and giving a, a foreign culture your real name, which would have been Matoaka, uh, would have been a power act that, 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 that they didn't find out her, her actual name until much later. And did, it, did it achieve anything, the, the, this, this forced marriage, this kidnapping? Was there peace for a time because of the, the, the union of, of John Rolfe and, and, and um, who we know as Pocahontas? Yes, indeed, uh, it did achieve peace, which is always valuable and, and important. Uh, but of course, it could arguably be uh, commemorating different things rather than Pocahontas, uh, given the, the, the tragic, really, circumstances of her life and, and how she dies and so on. You know, there are more positive things we could be, and other versions of, of Indigenous female identity we could be focusing on, especially given that Deb Haaland is a Laguna Pueblo woman and is currently Secretary of the Interior. In a way, it's kind of funny that the English are harking back to, to what is really quite a sad story. Well, tell, us how, tell us the sadness of that story. How did she die? What, was the, what were the circumstances of her death? Well, she's taken hostage violently in 1609, made to convert takes the Christian name of Rebecca very soon after her birth. And according to the Mataponi people who have an oral history, obviously, that's different from the um, archival history that we have, um, they suggest that she was actually raped. But um, very soon after her marriage, she gives birth in 1615 to a son, Thomas, and her descendants, um, are, are still uh, really vocal about being descendants of Pocahontas. And, and there's a, a, a legacy in, in that sense, as well as this window of peace in between sustained conflict. Maybe the bigger legacy is the tobacco industry that uh, the English uh, embed. Uh, but whether you see that as a positive thing is also another issue. We still have about 8 million a year dying from tobacco. So again, I'm a little bit confused why uh, we, we keep harping on to the Pocahontas story. Well, I think it's because it's, uh, it's, it was mythologised and it's right to reflect on the truth behind the mythology. It's fascinating to hear that. You can't imagine the Disney uh, company making a film about uh, how tobacco was established uh, in, uh, in, in America. Joy, that's fascinating stuff. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. That's Professor Joy Porter. Uh, she's Professor of Indigenous and Environmental History at the University of Hull there. Uh, I kind of knew, you kind of knew, even when you're watching the, the, the Disney film, that this, it's not entirely the, the full story. It's kind of weird, though, isn't it, how we kind of latch on to stories and just sort of change them. Yeah.